Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kian from the Reaper Rocker Vlog and welcome back to our album review series. And this time, we will review one of the pioneers of the girls metal band boom in Japan. And it's none other than Death Rose. Some of you uh, didn't know Death Row so much. So let me first introduce to you who is Death Rose and then we will go ahead and review their self titled album. So, for the meantime, sit back and relax for our short presentation. Death Rose was a Japanese all-female heavy metal band formed in 2005 as Destroya. They are considered pioneers of the girls' metal band boom in Japan. Initially, Destroya derives its name from Kiss album Destroyer and the Godzilla character Destroyoya. They were a cover band covering songs by acts such as Led Zeppelin, Shoya, Pantera, Metallica, and Mano One. The band changed their name to Death Rose in 2007, adding Rose to make it more feminine and in reference to Guns and Roses. The band made frequent lineup changes until going on in definite hiatus in 2015. The self titled album, the lineup were Niho of bass, Haruna for drums, Narubi for guitars, Nina for guitars, and Marina for vocals. Death Rose is best known for the subsequent bands that is many members have gone to from. Marina is known for the, the vocalist of Bardellas. Nina has formed Fate Gear. Risa Risa and Narumi went to Diswalia. Miho and Haruna founded Love Bites. Other band members, I, Eri, Kayo, and Mari formed Mary's Blood. I discovered Best Rose back in 2013. I'm just searching uh, baby metal tracks in YouTube that time. And by an accident, I heard their single Nospilia. With that, I've been starting uh, liking them. Nospilia is my most favorite song in the album. In fact, this song uh, brought me listening to the band. And I actually heard this in YouTube. It's just like a sample. Like a 90 the second sample I guess that song is really has a complete package since the vocals are so great guitar works really um, perfect as well as the drum works for the vocals I really compliment Marina's voice since she, she's really powerful in delivering the song I really love the last part of the song, especially when she screams a pop. It really gives me a ghost box, especially when I uh, first heard it. Guitar works are really good. They really work together on that um, song. As well as the drum works, it's really ear catchy. Mapapa ear gasam ka sa sobrang galing. Romancer, the intro of the song is very catchy. The blending of the guitars, the drums, and the vocals are also balanced. Like uh, with Nosphilia. It's kinda romantic with a bit of heaviness. Nina from Fate Gear, she uh, made this also a cover version on her current band. But when I heard the song in from uh, Fate Gear, it's toned down and also up uh, it's more light yung datingan ng kanta kasi nung time di ano ni nang tong sa version ng Death Rose 
it's more heavier mas may angas at gusto ko yung atake ng ano ng uh, ng romancer meanwhile with the fate gears version it's really toned down it's kind of more on with lightness yung kanta i was also surprised the lyrical content it's changed despite the songs are in japanese but if you just make a comparison between the two you'll just notice there's a lot of difference sort of avenger the guitar uh, rips what i really love most every time i listen to uh, the, the song i feel like i'm flying <laughs> Ang galing kasi yung mga yung workout ni ano ni Nina plus na room nagsasalpukan talaga eh nag uh, talagang nagmamatch at nagde-blend together. His vocals also are really powerful in this song. In fact, uh, Marina made this song on her current band which is Mardelas. I heard the version of that but it's kind of also toned down but i really love the original version on it sa best rose my least faves in the album so uh, let's start with the uh, hakai no bara one thing that i don't like in this song is the pacing there are some parts that is so slow then it turns fast especially on the chorus. I don't like also the consistency of the melodies of this song. What I just only like here is only the guitar solo part. But the vibe also I'm not really into in this song kasi iba yung vibes niya eh. Headless Goddess is the next. The very first part of this song when Marina screams, turn off agad ako dun. I don't like it so much. It's not really fits well. Eh. Parang pinakot pa niya yung audience. Eh. The facing also of this song is inconsistent. I don't like it uh, so much. The melodies are not also catchy. And for me, this song is the weakest sa buong album. for the verdict so what could I say for the self-titled album ng Death Rose I could rate this album as 4 out of 5 I could say that uh, Marina's vocals is the, really that top notch in this whole album her voice is really powerful she sings perfectly I also commend um, Narumi's and Nina's guitar work. They're really great and really works together. Eh. Yung mga riffs niya, it's really an eargasm. Sobra. The drum work as well, si Haruna. Ang galing. It's so really excellent. Especially on the double fence. It's really hard. Ang bigat. Pero ang galing nung, ano, nung mga palo niya. Mapapahedbang ka pag uh, talagang pinapakinggan mo yung kanta nila. The chemistry of the instruments are uh, work well in this um, album. Except for the, those uh, least favorites that I uh, mentioned earlier. I could say this uh, album, it's kinda raw. But it proved na kahit raw sila, andun na yung aggressiveness really an excellent um, paggawa nung, ano, nung buong album in addition dun sa, despite the lineup has been uh, changed drastically for all through the years they were really improved uh, for uh, making these songs in fact sa mga kantang like yung Headless Goddess yung Phoenix to name a few of these uh, songs in the album, they were actually been performing these songs prior pa sa mga previous nilang vocalist. As the lineup changes, it showed that the songs really improved eventually 
step by step nag-i-improve siya, nag-i-improve hanggang sa talagang naging hasa na siya eh. I could say that uh, it's still a raw kasi siguro sabihin na natin kasing unang album nila to at parang nag-aano pa sila eh, yung naghahanap ng chemistry across with each other for me uh, the self-titled album defines the best rose itself niisip ko nga eh kung paano kaya kung ongoing pa ang best rose ngayon kasabi natin ang bandang to with the likes of uh, Love Bites ngayon they were now performing um, overseas not just in only in United States but also in the huge metal festivals like uh, Wacken yan sa Download Festival and to name a few So, we're already done with our album review in this episode. But don't worry guys, don't be sad. Dahil ang best rose ay ang simula ng ating album reviews sa Girls Metal Band Boom. So, lahat ng nabanggit ko kaninang mga banda ay gagawan din natin ng album reviews. If you're excited, just sit and uh, hang in there, okay? So, uh, but uh, just don't forget always to hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell as always para makatanggap kayo ng updates at as well mga iba pang album reviews na gagawin natin sa future. But always, don't forget to uh, follow my Instagram and also my uh, Twitter page. So, dito, hanggang dito na lang tayo muna mga kapatid at this is Kian from the Reaper Rocker Vlog. We'll see you again soon. Alright, we're getting ready now for the next album review.